To enter a sales invoice, go to Applications, Accounts Receivable, AR Sales Invoices and click Add. The date will populate in automatically based on today's date and can be amended to any date in an open period. Your customer can be chosen here, either via the drop down, if you know the ID or the customer name, you can type in here. Any reference number can be added, for example, the manual PO number. Any high level description. Any messages that you need to go on the invoice. The term will default from whatever you have your customer set up as. In this case, it's 30 days. You can change this and your due date will change accordingly based on your term. Any attachments that go with the invoice can be added here. If you're working in a multi-currency environment, you do have the option at this point to change the transaction currency and amend exchange rates to whatever you wish to use. So in here, we can see we have daily rates set up, but you can customize it if you need to, to work on a specific rate. Down to entries and our account has defaulted in from what our custom has been set to. We can change this should we need to. We then enter the transaction amount, any department and location information. And should we need to add any other dimensions, they will also appear here on this line. Our tax detail has again defaulted in from our customer card and is set to standard 20%. The tax has automatically worked itself out and the description of the line defaults in from the top level description above. Again, you can amend this if you need to. We have options at the next point as to whether we have finished the invoice or not. If you have finished, you can either click post and the invoice will post or post a new and you will be brought back to put in your next invoice. Again, with draft, if you've got more detail to add, you can choose to get the invoice into draft format and leave it there until you're ready to work on it again. Draft and new takes you to a new draft invoice and draft and continue is just going to save the invoice for you and let you continue to work on it. So we've finished with this invoice but we want to add some more in as well. So we're going to post and go to new. We have a message saying that the record was created successfully. So I have a batch of invoices for this customer. There are some quick ways that I can add those in. So if I have the same customer again, I can populate from the last sales invoice. Clicking this, will fill in all the information exactly the same as it was before. So there will be things I most likely need to change. Could be the reference number as it's got a different order. The amount may vary. I may need to change the terms on this particular invoice and then I can save. So our two new invoices are here. I can also edit an invoice like so and duplicate it if required. Again, this creates a copy of the previous invoice where I can amend the details And this may be for a different department.
if I want to amend the tax details, I can do so at this point here. And as you can see, the transaction tax has now come out as we have a zero rate. And if I just update this show summary here, this also changes. And post. So there are more than one way of raising an invoice and you can do it quickly if you have multiple for the same customer using the methods just described.